So, Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. I'm going to pin this on. Pedro's there. He'll let you know what the deal is. We'll continue to talk about the shit show. It wasn't a debate. It was a shit show. And if you try to say that it was not both, it was both. What's going on? Everybody jump back on. Oh, everybody jump back on. Pedro. All right. Yeah, we're here, man. So, so I just, I just want to get back at, at, at where we were. So, the reality is, um, you know, there, there was this, there were these moments where, like, Chris Wallace uh, was asking some, some tough questions of both the candidates, right? Chris but, Wallace definitely like, say, was, is the MVP on that. So, so it's, what, it's what I want to call, like, Joe in profile. Because I thought that Joe Biden, obviously, he has more debate experience, uh, especially on that, that level. Um, you know, he, 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 as performers, we understand where the camera is, right? Like, sometimes I'm looking here at the thing. But sometimes when I want sometimes to you look into the camera, I, re I right. realize that I need to look into the lens so that you feel like I'm looking at you, right? you know, both the audience and you, Shane. Right. So um, Joe Biden really had that right. Like he didn't really ad address uh, Trumpy Dumpty a lot. Right. Um, if on the screen uh, Biden was on the right or whatever, you know, it, it was rare that he actually looked over and Trump most of the time was looking over at Biden and not addressing like either the room or the greater American population that's watching, right, the cameras. But Joe Biden was very aware of that. So there were times where he was, like, directly in the camera with it. Um, but the times that I call Joe in profile are the times when, like, Chris Wallace was like, you've promised for three years for a uh, replacement for Obamacare, but you haven't come out with a plan yet. Like, as soon, before he, Chris Wallace was even done, Joe Biden was like, yeah, nigga. <laughs> what about yeah. that part? Oh, when he asked him about racism, when he asked him about racism, he said, "Yeah, motherfucker, what's that up part. with the uh, so, white supremacists?" So let's 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 pull that nugget out right now. Then let's let's pull out the little racist nugget because this is one of those tough questions where Chris Wallace is like, "Are you willing to denounce KKK white supremacist groups?" Literally, he was like, "What are they called? The not the Doughboys, the." Something boys, but whatever. Fuck them, boys? No, they, where they wear the Hawaiian shirts and they try and shoot motherfuckers. But um, he, he, like Trump, literally is like, okay, I tell them stand back and stand by. That that was the frick. Proud boys, thank you, Eve. Proud boys, Eve's underscore Apple, thank you. That's why you're the queen of the show. One of them. We have many queens on this court, but Eve right. helps us. With and so by the way, things. I want to ask at the end of this, who do you think won the oh. uh, the debate afterwards? Was, well, we're, we're, we're saying, we're, they're saying ultimately, ultimately we'll get there. But uh, uh, oh, Shang, and don't forget to pin that information uh, I'm on, on this new I'm on, on this new feed. But um, literally, Trumpy Dumpty was like, "Proud Boys, uh, you know they need to stand." What do you say? Stand back and stand by. So stand back, because Chris Wallace was like, "Are you willing to tell these groups that?" To, to not interfere and to stand by or to, you know, just, you know, not involve themselves so that people can peacefully count the, the votes if this is all around the election, the mail-in ballots, by the way. So it's like if there's a delay, can we can you assure that you'll, you'll tell your people to just stand back and, and, and fall back? And he was like, stand back and stand by. And the standby is the other part. The standby is the get ready, right? The standby is, you know, await my orders. But right. that's not that's not fall back. That's not don't do anything. That yeah, exactly. El Nukes like stand back for what? You know what I mean? Like so. What? So that language was still in there. And and uh, like uh, K Fields PR said earlier, he he was not willing to to just totally renounce white supremacy. Like he right. just it was, a, it was a racist on dog with those on even this stage, he could not renounce white supremacy. Like he could not. Um, and I don't honestly, I don't give a fuck what a poll says about who won tonight. Uh, you know, there were moments where Biden uh, definitely sort of, um, you know, uh, yielded the power a bit and was like, OK, whatever. I'm just going to let this dude talk. But I, I think we got to understand that there, there was no point. There's no point now 
his his true base supporters, they're at a point of no return. They're, they're, there's nothing right. he so can say. So it doesn't matter do. what happens. He right. can shoot I'm somebody. talking about the new the, the the media. If the media says that, I will I'll never watch this shit again. There's no fucking way that if you do go by who won, who lost, that this man is the person they said. And by the way, fuck you, publicity mag. And I mean that. Really, I'm on one tonight. Really, fuck you with that bullshit who and the shit you saying. And I'm I'm not I'm not going. I'm just not. Oh, so hey, aside it's from not that, night nice to hold back, guys. Yeah, nah, Let fuck that. You, I mean, I ain't, I ain't up on the, the presidential thing. I'm saying it right now, okay? Fuck you with that bullshit, okay? You can say some other shit. I'll be with you, but that shit right there, fuck you with that, that bullshit. Right if you think that man, after all that yelling and interrupting and fucking lot lies and the shit he said in this debate. Flat out fucking easily provable lies. Biden was definitely more steady. A couple times Biden did let it go, but I think it's smart to just let this motherfucking ramble and say all kind of lying bullshit that can be easily fact checked. And it was I was fact checking the shit while I was listening to this bitch. Fuck oh, yeah. all y'all that, that are, are supporting this bitch. All of you, if you black and you support them, coon coon, it's the coons in the house. <laughs> coons in the Look house. Look at the coons. Coon, coon, coon. <laughs> There's some Always coons in this house. For There's you. some coons. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Coons. There's some coons in this house. There's some, There's some coons. Fuck all y'all with that. Y'all, yeah, y'all, exactly. So, it's I mean, it's, it's that and, cap. It's that cap, that coon ass pussy. It's, yeah, exactly. And the other yeah. thing is, I do think that the moderator was arguing with him most of the time because he was the one doing most of the shit. There wasn't no both sides shit. It was absolutely a fact. He did not denounce fucking racism, he did not denounce half the shit that he said that were lies and they asked him the question $750 when they said that he fucking made a little pout face because he knows he's a bitch that he because he's super rich or and, and doesn't deserve it but that's all white privilege um it was JP Justice actually said it looked like two slave slave owners that were arguing over the the, the last nigga I mean it well he didn't say the last nigga but that's how it was but that's JP Justice like. follow JP Justice yeah um so here's here's the thing man um they, they, and just before the debate, I don't know if you saw this, but Biden uh, released his his uh, 2019 tax returns, and he paid three hundred thousand dollars. So, you know, I really feel like Trumpy Dumpty avoided the because there was a tax. He he said he said he paid millions in taxes those years. Um, but if you get a fucking if you get a fucking uh, rebate or discount or whatever, that's not what you pay, my nigga. Like it's like he don't right. understand what refund means. <laughs> like if 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 you pay out a certain amount, but then get ref- refunded a certain other amount, then you didn't pay that full amount. You only paid the difference between the fucking amount and the refund. Right. So I mean, uh, uh, that that was a given. The 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 whole debate. It started off. I did like the fact Joe was like, "Well, somebody, you shut up. You shut your mouth." I just, I just wanted him to say, "Hey, Joey, go over and smack this cocksucker. He fucking won't shut his, he won't shut his pie hole." I mean, he, he was interrupting constantly because he knew there was nothing else he could do. He thought that loud means smart, and it doesn't. He sounded like a buffoon. He looked like he was unraveling, and y'all fucking know it. He looked like he yeah. was unraveling. And, this first and, debate and, is horrible. Yeah, and Seba three one three brings up a point, important point: not, not federal income tax. What up, though, Seba? Um, when when Chris Wallace specifically asked, did federal income tax, like, wh- how much did you pay? He was like, I pay millions in taxes. Taxes ain't federal taxes. Taxes is just taxes. Federal taxes is specific, right? So, like, maybe you paid some shit in New York. Maybe you paid some shit in your city. But federally, 750 is what you put in the pot. You yeah, think that's it, right. You think it's that's horrible. Good? But I, I'm so, glad that he brought it up. I'm glad they talked about the, the Supreme Court. Trump kept interrupting, but he did answer so, it, and Biden did answer it. Another thing that they that they brought up was obviously COVID nineteen, this pandemic that we're going through. Right. Um, I, I I honestly thought that Biden had a good line for this, where he was like. After whatever Trumpy Dumpty said, in terms of the numbers of of cases and deaths, because honestly, I, 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 this was like a really dumb thing. Like Trumpy Dumpty said that Biden and them did poorly with the H one N one swine flu. 
And then Biden is like 14,000 people died, not 200,000 people, which is weird to listen to presidential candidates talk about who died less on their watch from viruses. But right. the reality is the, the Obama administration and, and Biden did the right things to curb right. both H1N1 and Ebola. And and Biden brought up that we didn't shut down the like they never shut down. And I've said this on this show, like this shit wasn't real to me until the NCAA tournament and the NBA shut down. And then I was like, wait, what? Because whoa, 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 whoa. You know, wait a minute, wait, 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 Pedro, you're wrong. Trump brought back football. Okay, <laughs> he said that tonight. He said that tonight. That and he was like, I was glad to do it, bitch. Please. Okay. Big team, Bitch, please. And Big you know what? Um, when, when if Biden made made very factual points pertaining to healthcare, which I love the fact he said that. And then after he ran those numbers and he ran the facts about the fact that they were trying to yeah. overturn it um, forty six times, basically. Then he said, "You picked the wrong guy on the wrong type." <laughs> Listen, what he said? You picked the wrong guy on the wrong night and the wrong time. This is that this was some gangster shit right yeah. there. And 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 also this, he was like, because w with respect to the cases and deaths, you know, there's that infamous line where Trump is like, it is what it is, right? With the Jonathan Swan in the interview. Yeah. But um <laughs> but Biden tonight was like, it is what it is because you are who you are. And I was like, oh. Oh. That was one of those ones. He didn't see that coming. Bam. And you know, yeah. not that it, you know, but Trump I did this. Was, Trump had to go like this. Yeah, because there's not, but he still, he, he was loud. He was obnoxious. Um, he would, I, he, I hated him even more. I hated him even more. Somebody oh, posted, was, yeah. I thought, I thought he was, uh, you know, I thought he was the unraveler, to be honest, in, in, in this thing. Like, like when Chris Wallace of Fox News at this point, it has to be like, Mr. President, Mr. Pre would you just stop? Just stop talking. Like, stop. Just stop. Just stop. You know, so he tried to strong arm the, the stage. But, um, you know, to be honest, I, I'm, I'm not sure he did that. I, I wasn't happy with every uh, moment that Biden uh, sort of, uh, you know, um, bowed down or or gave deference to to the moment and and just was like well whatever I'm I'm gonna let this guy talk but I thought that Trump Trumpy Dumpty talked himself into a, a bunch of holes I mean and there were right. there were some there were some tough questions for Biden too you know um, with with regards on 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 crime and and uh, and things like that and, and law and order and Trumpy Dumpty just cr tried to say that he he won't say law and order it's like no. Biden has 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 totally endorsed law and order and denounced violent protests. And he said it, and he said it over and over again. And after he said it, Trump said, "You won't even say law and order." He plays that same fucking note, and it's a horrible Bullshit. fucking note. I hope that yo, I wanted to slap box this motherfucker. I, I just, I'm telling you, I just wanted to slap box this motherfucker, man. And here's the thing. Sorry, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to smack the shit out of him. He was, he made me upset. He, You're gonna get too much cinnamon dust on your hands, though. Yeah, that's like, true. Yeah, I just like yeah, AJ, like, like AJ Fit. AJ Fit don't call him Cinnamon Hitler for no reason. Like when you slap yeah. a motherfucker like that, now you got cinnamon on your hands, and it's gonna get everywhere, dog. So like, you gotta be careful. Use the back of your. It's like you know you gotta. You gotta do the yeah. True the, 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 street, the, the, the street slap by like, pep, pep. You know, like hit him with the slap pat. Man, I, he's lucky Uncle Stabby wasn't in the audience because I'd have stabbed that motherfucker because sometimes you've got to stab a motherfucker. You know, I was, oh, I just, it was so either, bad. It made my heart race. It was so bad. So, um, yeah, man, uh, this, this, this was a, a, an extremely interesting uh, debate. I, I, don't, I don't know how you could call that Trump won, if anybody is out there calling that. Um, like I said, I think I think the media won tonight in the fact that I think Chris Wallace was able to hold his ground as a neutral journalist and present a neutral event, even as a Fox uh, employee, Fox News employee, I should say. So 
Uh, ultimately, I think that was the win. It's just that there, there was some sort of true moderation, right? Because I think we were all looking at it like, fuck, this Fox nigga is... And while Chris Wallace comes from a, a you know, a history of, 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 you know, sort of good journalism or solid journalism in, in a way, uh, once you go to Fox News, you, your shit gets tainted, right? Um, but, you know, I, I thought overall, in that sense, there was this element of a neutral voice that was trying to at least steer the whole overall debate towards something same, you know what I mean? That wasn't right. this big like, ah, fuck you, fuck you thing. Like, so ultimately, I think the media won tonight because Trumpy Dumpty threw out fake news shit and, you know, they, they went into the, the, the voting mail stuff and, uh, you know, he tried to throw out a lot of shit that I think uh, both Chris Wallace, while not playing a true fact checker, um, didn't let him he would go. Fact check. Yeah, well, but also didn't let him just like consume the the space. But the air K, K with Fields this PR, K, K Fields PR um, said um, it was a Trump and Chris Wallace show. I don't know about that because Biden definitely did said some things. Just because he wasn't yelling and being ranting and fro frothing at the mouth like fucking Trump was with you know pathological fucking lies and his narcissism was just going out of fucking. Right now, with every field. So I'm just telling you right now. Um, I just feel like if they, if if anybody in the media tries to act like this is somebody that is worth, you know, being four years more president, then fuck all y'all. Like I mean, like for real, like deep deep in my chest, below my heart, behind my heart, all the way to my ass. Fuck you if you really think this dude is the best. Okay, and Biden did some dope shit when he spoke to. And Kate, uh, and this is what uh, Kate feels. I'm just expounding on what you said. He spoke to the general public. He said, "This is not about my family. This is not about your family. And if we did talk about your family, we would go all night. But we're talking about their, the, the people's family. And I thought those are the things for these little people on the fence. If they can't see that he was trying to talk, trying to under, you know, uh, under duress for this fucking cunt, he was definitely trying to say this is for the people." Um, yeah. Why am I pixelated? I'm pixelated. We've I'm had not a pixelated. few moments. You you've had a few moments, but it's all good. It, it's hard to see sometimes yourself in the mirror of IG. But uh, it, don't worry, dog. We good. We heard you. We heard you. We got you. Um, Fuck. I hate. No, no, no. I, no, I no. hate doing this show sometime on IG because I mean the shit works normal and it's fine. I don't know what's wrong. It should be fine. You good? Now. Frustrating you're good. me, and I'm already frustrated because of this shit. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, El Noop, I saw, said that, that, yo, this shit was not a debate, but uh, it wasn't a traditional one, uh, yeah, absolutely. And I don't think we should have expected that, right? Like, we know what we're de dealing with, and I, I think people are arguing a bit over the title Cinnamon Hitler, um, because his two, his, you know, uh, Miss Adverb said Cinnamon is too brown. I saw Senge Ben Yosef said, uh, uh, it should be like turmeric, Hitler, but whatever the spice, <laughs> whatever spice you want to eat, all he, spice. It, Hitler, it should be he. he it should be beat Hitler. up in a fucking alleyway, yeah. Hitler. It, I but, mean, it, you know what? Let me ask you this. I'm gonna ask everybody in this. When you were watching it, did it make you, um, make you your my my heart was beating fast from being angry, and the fact that uh, Caucasians are permanently challenged people and pigmently challenged people will actually think that this guy is the guy we should definitely put in charge and should have put Caucasian. him in charge and get go. It's not Caucasian, huh? but it's not all of them. It's not Caucasian. Okay, okay. So uh, base, 35, 40 his base, percent. Base. His base are Caucasian. But there's yes. there's a lot of, there's a, but you know Caucasians what? But you know Caucasians his base. No, but you know what? A lot of, there's a lot of people that may not be his base, but they still don't speak up enough loudly against this bullshit. Absolutely. So and 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 it's like it's it's up to if we want to stop racism, it ain't gonna be just on us. It's, I'm not gonna constantly blame the victim. We the victims, and these yeah. motherfuckers need to all get together and stop that. But he just, just he ignored he ignored question after question after question. How could you fuck? Biden at least answered some. Now he some he did didn't answer directly because he didn't get a chance to because the motherfucker was, um, you know, talking trying to talk over him with bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, like a child, know. like he was a man child. Fuck him and fuck all yeah. you followers. 
Fuck, not yeah, you followers. Yeah. Fuck all you fucking Trump followers. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, you know, obviously, uh, our current president behaved like a child. I would say Biden kind of bowed down on some subjects. But, but you know, it's, it's whatever. I, I don't think he wanted to lower himself into that space too much. While at the same time, out loud calling the president a clown and a racist and telling him to shut up. So... It, you know, they're, 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 it's a scale, guys, and it's a teeter-totter. And the shit went back and forth tonight. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, the winner to me was the media tonight. Was Fox News uh, anchor Chris Wallace being able to be a journalist again outside of his own network? Because I watched it on CNN. I know it, it was on all the network. It doesn't matter, right? Like, it was aired everywhere. It was just moderated by this one network's guy. But right. tonight, he was a journalist. And he did challenge both sides. But one side needs, needed to be challenged more because they're currently in power, right? Like, this is a Trumpy Dumpty America. And the shit that's going on is under that. So he challenged them on mask science um the economy the environment you know what i mean like emissions and 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 he challenged challenge him on race he challenged him on his lies right he challenged him on his, lies. Like, they, right. they, they he, he him on his lies but and and i did i um uh denise lawton was on here i saw her in the feed what well, uh what's up what's up denise um yeah i did see what cnn said and the funny it's funny to see people on cnn said we, I, excuse my language. Let's just say what it was. It was a shit show. It was one of the most disgraceful fucking. It's the most disgraceful debate I've ever seen. It's fucking horrible. And I've been around and I've seen some debates. That motherfucker wasn't even debate. It was Trump lying and screaming and yelling and Biden trying to get a word in edgewise, which he did. Oh, yeah. I don't know if he bowed down, but sometimes he just was like, "Let this fool talk and bury himself." And I think that Trump absolutely did. And Trump not answering that shit with the KKK shit and the yeah, fucking um, Denise. that shit was that was that. If that don't, if black people that still support this cunt don't see that shit, then fuck y'all. And then I'm coming to your house, slap box. We gonna slap yeah. box, and I can slap box. Denise Laden we gonna, said we gonna get it in. Denise Laden said it was like watching kindergarten on Zoom, and it's like it's frustrating to watch somebody color outside the line on video, you know, because you're like, no, no, like, create an edge first. Stop, and then, don't do that. No, no, that was, guys, that was, uh, you done fucked it up. Oh, but that, no, that's what it was. It, it was literally like trying to watch kindergartners do things uh, remotely. Um, yeah, man, you know, we're, we're in this place. We've got this guy up there. So I, I don't know why anybody's surprised at his behavior uh, during it. You know, this is what we expected. This is what we should have known was going to happen. Um, but, but, but I think most importantly was his inability to... Um, yeah, and it wasn't... The, Prime Minister Tate said that wasn't a debate at all. It was a reality television show. That, that's what he tried to turn it into. Um, to be honest, I think Joe Biden held his own as much as he could in that space. And Chris Wallace, the debater, I mean, the moderator... Um, because he ended up debating the president on live TV at some points, um, held his own as well. But I think I think this set a tone for, you know, what what we should expect going forward. I'm thinking time. the next two they should do it in the octagon, and they should they should put on the gloves. I just feel like no. And Trump, let me tell you something. Um, I I agree with some of the people in the feed uh, uh, that said. I think Biden did win some fucking voters tonight. I think the fact that uh, Chris Wallace had to moderate it like he was talking to some kids running around on a break. Um, like, get back, get, get back, get over here, get up, you get over here, you stop, no, you stop running. Stop, 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 stop biting her, stop biting one, Cindy. Two, yes. two, two and I'm a gonna half, count. when I say if, three. And then that's it. We're going to turn this bus around and we're going to go home. And you know what? They, yes, exactly. They should have cut his mic off. They should definitely have. I would yeah. absolutely, Somebody, if I was a de Democrat, go on. Fact check this motherfucker. Well, Fact check him. To be honest, like, I don't know why they don't just kill Mike's. Like, if you want to do it uninterrupted, just kill the other candidate's mic. Like, bro, it's so, like, there's a sound motherfucker right there. Like, 
just kill the other fucking at mic. Two minutes, at two, at two mic, minutes, if you keep talking, you turn one mic on, don't have shit. both mics on at the same fucking time if it's supposed to be one at a time. Like, just turn off the other fucking mic. Like, literally, just kill his mic and then fucking let the other mic go. And then when two minutes are up, kill Biden's mic and let Trumpy Dumpty vomit dick sperm on the fucking mic. Like, just, but, but like, don't sit here and talk about, like, well, it's going to be one and then we'll have an open, open discussion. Like, no, motherfucker. If you expect one motherfucker to talk and then the other motherfucker to talk, then only allow one motherfucker to talk at a time. And but when they're interacting with each other back and forth to respond to a question. That's fine. That's um, fine. But, but they had these two-minute periods that were supposed to be uninterrupted. Right. And then, obviously, Trump de Dumpty kept interrupting. But Biden also would step in and interrupt for, for a brief second. And Chris Wallace would be like, sir, let him finish. And then Biden would do the, the holy... Right. Uh, but you know what? It was he funny bob, when Wallace, bob, bob Wallace head when, head. yeah, when Trump like, was saying shit, was Trump was saying shit, Trump was saying shit to him, and and, and then um, he told him, he said, "Look, I have to. You you promised you would do this." And he said, "Well, actually, sir, uh, Mr. President, it was you interrupting more. You're, you're the interrupter. But it was him. It was him too. It was him too. He did it. No, it's motherfucker, it was you. And if that's what you have to say, motherfucker. It was you. It was you, motherfucker. And the and the fact that the fact that Wallace had to be in there fucking constantly talking to this man, telling him to shut the fuck up. He didn't say shut the fuck up, but I wish we could do that. That'd be the most gangster debate where he could just go, hey, man, I told you to shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. By the way, shut up. The- I swear I'm going to have to make come up on that stage and bitch smack your fake ass here and, you know, and make you pay those back taxes you owe. It's just was horrible. And, and, you know, it's frustrating to watch. It's fr- you know what's frustrating to watch? To even see your feed, Publicity Mac. But aside from that, that's what's frustrating. Right. You know? You, right. you know. So, all right. So maybe, maybe there, there's a few, maybe a few other things we can talk about about this debate. But it, it was the first of four. Um, and I think we, we see the tone of how it's going to go. Um, but I think the media has room and, and there's a tone now for, for checking you know the president you know basically checking him on his style his bully bullshit and uh and you know really just you know trying to allow a, an actual d- debate occur so all so right we'll something for, i'm not i hate to use this word but for the american people i don't like saying that. i don't know why it sounds corny to me but it, i mean let the american people decide by you giving your policies and saying where you stand and the motherfucker didn't say where he stood not at all you know where he stands on the side of white nationalists that's why he didn't fucking answer that and he did throw a dog whistle to his people he didn't answer the question about mail-in voting that shit was gangster when he was like, yeah, but and, he, and, and, he, and, and he then Biden no, did say, no your, your FBI guy, your people said there is no problem with mail and voting, just like you mail and vote when you're sitting behind your desk and you send it into Florida. I was like, oh, in the fucking face, look at the elbow to the grill. Oh. Hot Dukin. <laughs> yeah, this, that was a hot Dukin. This is it boom, boom, right? Like fist, then elbow. But yeah, no. Um, and he had no, he couldn't, he couldn't answer the health care plan, like. Literally, Fox News anchor asked him, where's your health care plan? And he came with that bullshit. So we know what it is, man. But speaking of coming with that bullshit, um, tonight, one thing I do want to talk about as well is uh, an update in the Breonna Taylor case, in which one of the grand jurists or jurors uh, has actually been vocal about having the tapes released from the grand jury um, hearing uh, for Breonna Taylor and the officers against her. And the public release of that, now Daniel Cameron, Daniel Kuhn Cameron has uh, agreed to release those tapes. But I think the interesting part was that this this grand juror was like, he misrepresented their role in the process. Right. And this is something we highlighted before, right? Is that we, we've heard commentators speak about federal prosecutors, former federal prosecutors, speak about how grand juries actually work. 
and how you as a prosecutor actually bring the case to them, right? You present to them what you want them to decide on. It's not that right. It just, is. It's not. It's nothing not, to do with them. It's what club. you. Yeah. It's strip, yeah. It's not a strip club. We just throw a bunch of evidence in the air, and whichever one collects the most evidence, uh, <laughs> you know, gets, yeah. gets the prize. Like, no. Hey, ladies, it's, ladies, tonight we're just gonna throw it in the air. Come on, y'all. Please welcome to the stage. You know, injustice, <laughs> injustice yeah. coming to the stage. Injustice so, is coming yeah. to the stage. White privilege. So, uh, yeah, but bully, let me bully, no, bully. but uh, no, I wanted but, but to no, say no. something. I, go, go ahead. Go ahead. No, okay. Well, what I, I was going to say I, was I was just going I was just going to end with this is that you know you 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 got to uh, so you can't have the voice of the state of Kentucky speaking against the people like this. You know what I mean? Like that's going to come out, especially when you try to go to grand jury which is supposed to be some secretive shit, and then you even go against that. So the grand jury is like, yo, or at least this one juror is like, yo, this motherfucker did not bring us any information about Brianna, and I want that to be known. Right, run, and, run, and run also, it. anybody, you don't even have to be a lawyer to know that you add 12 different, was it was a 12 or 13, I'm not sure, and, every, and if somebody on here correct me, say they didn't hear the police say, uh, announce themselves, and then you ask one of them, and he, you ask him three times, and by the third time he says, yeah, I think I heard the police announce himself. So just that alone should make them question this fucking, you know, whole this thing. whole thing. Whole and thing. not only that, the fact that the bullets, they, she basically was, I saw, I saw a, a sign that said that she basically didn't even get the dignity uh, of, a, of a fair trial. I mean, a, a case because they just said he just came to his conclusion and he was the one, he came to his conclusion that these cops were not going to be charged. Period. At the end. And that's what he did and it's a fucking shame and Breonna Taylor's death is going to go, you know, it, without justice and we're going to keep marching and marching and marching and that's why I understand why people get angry and want to burn shit sometimes. Um, and uh, you know what? Publicity Mag suck my dick. And so, uh, yeah, and I mean, and I mean from the back, bitch. Um, yeah. Fuck, fuck out of here. You, you start to piss me off now. Fuck out of here. I ain't trying to think of no Don't clever shit to say to you. How about you? Fuck you. So um, you can see that I ain't no ain't no jokey joke, man. This is real shit. Fuck you. Um, the the it thing real. is, it, it sounds sounds pretty real. I think it was very real. I, I just think that the fact that he has to, you know, the grand juror had to come out and say this ain't cool. That ain't what that ain't what he presented. This ain't the way it's supposed to be. So hopefully, when it does come out fully, Breonna Taylor, and we can see that he's a right wing, suck up coon cage motherfucker. He spoke at the RNC on some coon cage shit, and that is where it came from. He was never going to fucking do anything pertaining to these police. He was never. I just wanted basically just ugh. I can't stand this motherfucker, boy. Yeah, man. Um, so. So, you know, we, we, we all need to hear these tapes, right? These, these grand jury tapes, these grand jury tapes uh, from the Breonna Taylor case. We, we all need to hear them. There's been a public outcry from, especially from, uh, you know, Kenneth Walker and, and Breonna Taylor's family's uh, representation that this needs to be released. But, I mean, I, I think a, a real pressure was put on the uh, Kentucky AG Daniel Coonrin Cameron Coon. Yeah, Coonrin. Um, it's Coonrin. It's yeah, right. That uh, that he has to let this go. He has to let this information out and see really how foul they were, man. Um, because th there appears to be a lot of cover up in terms of you know. There was cover up. There was initial cover up too. So we already know that there's the reason that this has such sticking power and the reason people been. Um, still say saying her name is because it has so much sticking power. Because there's some stuff that's just so obvious. The, 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 the obtaining the obtaining of the warrant, the no knock warrant itself. Right. Shade all over that shade. Shade. That. It should be like when gay dancers. There's only shade. 
That's what they are. Just, they're so in shape. And it was, it was that kind of shit. It was so obvious. And all the people out there, you can say what you want. I, I mean, don't act like I'm just some fucking idiot. I mean, and, and it treats us all like idiots, but we see what it is. We see that it was corruption. We see that this black man is a fucking coon and a suck up for these people. And that is a Keep fact. Going. That is a fact. That's why he spoke at the RNC and the way he spoke at the RNC. And so fuck him, feed him rocks and take him swimming. I hope he get ran up the ass by a rhino that gets out the zoo. That's the first thing. Secondly, Trump, fuck Trump. And that, de and that, not even that debate, that debacle that we just watched with Trump and the debate was fucking horrible. And if you think that he won by just being a bully and saying, yelling, louding, being louder, then you're a fucking idiot too. So, that's savage AF. That's the way it is. You could say the Democrats didn't step up as much. I think that Biden did come off clear, concise, and actually seem like he could steer the ship a little bit calmer and better than this fucking divider in chief. And you know what I'm saying? This interrupter in chief, because he was interrupting every other fucking minute. So I just, just I just blocked your comment for violence. What the fuck is up with this new algorithm? No, I'm saying, well, I just said some shit. Maybe they did block me too. I don't know. But I'm, I mean, but rhinos aren't getting out the zoo and running up on people, up people's ass. Um, but end of the day, <laughs> well, they might be. I don't know where city you live in, but uh, if you in Botswana, I guess that does happen. But end of the day, um, Breonna Taylor is not going to get the justice she deserved, and we fucking know that. We know that. Be, but at the same time, we can still call it out, and maybe the next Breonna Taylor, or we can prevent it. And that's what I said. I was waiting for you to get back. But this is the truth. Breonna Taylor is not going to get the justice she deserved. And even once we yeah. get the information, once we get the information and see it, I don't, what do they do next? Does the AG get replaced and we do a correct fucking trial? What happens? I don't know what happens. After yeah, we get the correct I mean, information. You, you would assume that they could always present other information to another grand jury, but I think ultimately it, it exposes the grand jury process as something that's corrupt in its uh in its very nature right like they they can present whatever they want to so depending on the nature of that da or how they want to view whatever evidence they collect or however they want to collect evidence right uh seems to be uh very arbitrary and then right. I, I believe that daniel uh coon cameron actually um, describe the grand jury process as something that's supposed to be secretive, right? Like it, it, it's supposed to be this closed door thing, um, which is why he wasn't initially releasing any of the uh, tapes. Uh, but there's obviously external pressure at this point. But we we have said this um, on this show many times that I, I know for me personally, with no joy at all, do I believe that Breonna Taylor is going to get justice. I don't think that any cop will ever be charged or imprisoned right. for one percent. One percent. And, and, and when we... I say any cop, we know who it is. Cosgrove is his name. He was identified by the Kentucky AG as the actual murderer. As he he fired the shot that was fatal. Uh, above the other five shots that hit her body out of the six, one was fatal. They know who shot it. They say it was justified. I, you know that it went, so went the bullets get, that so, went in, the bullets that went through the wall and possibly could have harmed the white family. That is justified for this cop. But the bullets that went through the black family that lived there, of course, there's no, there's no, um, they're not prosecuting that particular cop for that. And it, and that was brought up too. It is obviously some fucked up cover up shit and this brother shouldn't be able to walk the streets around other black people without not I'm not saying run up on him and punch him in the face, but at least say, hey motherfucker, fuck you forever. I mean, that's all I'm saying. I mean I won't say that because we on IG because apparently a lot of people getting blocked. But uh and by the way, our whole our blocked. whole our whole audience between uh Miss Adverb and Eve's Apple, which are the two women on this show you don't want to fuck with. Uh, they've gotten on publicity mag tonight, so there's all kind of insertions of dicks in your own vagina jokes that are, um, you know, quite hilarious for me. But that's what we do here on Savage AF. We multitask. We talk a lot of shit. And, and we keep thank you guys for subscribing. 
We keep it rude. Thank, Fuck your feelings. Thank you for subscribing to the um, – we just put the, the, the page up. We just – it's a new page put up. So we want you to do me – we want you to do me a favor. Go to YouTube and put in Savage AF Podcast. Podcast. And you – Podcast and subscribe <laughs> to the channel. We just put it up. We're putting – and if you missed the show here, you can see it on IG Live later. IG Live – I mean IGTV. Or you can see it on our new YouTube channel, Savage AF Podcast. Make sure you check us out there. Also, make sure you follow at Black Pedro. And you know you already follow me. For the people that ain't follow me, make sure you follow me. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Come on, let's get it done. Boom, Come bam. On, Come All on. up in your face. Amen. So, um, and the other thing is, right. I want to say, is if you get a chance, you want some Savage AF t-shirts or masks, check out the website, IamShang.com backslash merch. And you can check out, and so you can be part of the Savage Nation. Don't be average. You know what it is. Be savage. Be savage. You know. Hey, yeah. so I just want to update y'all uh, a bit on on my other quest through this thing. Because while we, while we do truly believe in and, and truly encourage people to vote, 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 we understand that it's not the end-all, be-all solution to uh, our black and brown problems here in America, right? Um, there may be other things that need to happen. Um, we've talked about Gertrude, my first uh, <laughs> arm <laughs> that, that I've ever taken up, um, a, a nine millimeter HK P two thousand. We've talked about we've talked about Bruce, which today I found out Bruce is my twelve gauge uh, bullpup shotgun that has been on back order for almost two months now. Um, it's it's from a company called. Black Aces Tactical out of Florida. And in addition to their uh, volume of orders that have created a back order, they got hit with a couple hurricanes down there. So it, it's totally slowed down the production and, and distribution. Um, so literally today I woke up and was like, fuck that. Bruce is taking too long. I'm going to get Leviathan. Because <laughs> like, I already told y'all. Leviathan, my nigga. So like, yeah. So this is what I put down on today. It should be in in two weeks. Uh, I'm gonna try and show it to y'all. But it's a it's a AR-15. Um, yeah. Radical Firearms is the carrier is the maker. Um, that you know that's I'm I'm building my circle of defense man. because like that, that's, we, that's, you know what if it does get hairy if the shit gets you know crazy then it might be something that, you know, might be needed, honestly. And um, UG, uh, U-G-E underscore Infosec said, why vote for any old white crusty men? Uh, because that's the option we have right in front of us. The one option is better than the other one, is a better person, better human being, and has more of a moral center. That's why. And does that answer your question? Also, and if you don't, <laughs> Leviathan will come and, and nope, just in nope. case they start getting wild out, they start wilding out because, hey, you know, the Proud Boys, the Proud Boys okay. and all these fucking idiots that are getting fuel from the president, especially that, that fucking racist dog whistle he just said <laughs> on the debate. We, need yeah. Le, we might need Leviathan, Leviathan, Leviathan. I got, I, got a, I got a connect with Carolina boss. He's like, you could build an AR for $400, my nigga. <laughs> Put, it, put them things together, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nigga, buy a Twitter, yeah. a slingshot, and a fucking bullet, and you got it. But here's the thing. Here's another thing I did, which is something I always talk about, right? Because uh, I, I was in Burbank at Redstone Firearms, the only black-owned right. black gun owned. shop in California, the only one. I was there today. <laughs> and as we were looking at other things, uh, you know, I thought about uh, a Glock 27, which is a 10-millimeter Subcompact. I, I didn't even know. I haven't even heard of a ten milli, ten milli, uh, uh, caliber. But I, they they were talking to me about it. There were a few of us looking at it. But honestly, I was like, man, subcompact. That's just gonna be in the car with me, and I don't want to do that right now. Like, I, I don't want to run around with a piece all day. Like, that's not what I'm trying to do. I know but, what you're saying. We talked about that earlier. But, yeah, but yeah, you know yeah. what? But I'm trying to build. I'm trying to build a circle defense in my home. And I, I, I somehow got a shotgun on the way still. <laughs> but uh, this other thing needs, needs to be had. Um, but beyond that, we were talking about not just ownership, but actual training, right? Because they were saying the other day a woman came in the shop, picked up her gun, and was like, oh, I feel so good I have a gun now. 
and everybody was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> like, yeah, like her boyfriend ain't gonna live that long. It, yeah, if you don't know how to use it, if you don't know how to aim, maintain, train with it, get to it quickly, but whatever. <laughs> like, it's it's a fuck show. So, and and we talked about this earlier, saying we we had a conversation. It's like there's they we complain about how little trained our police are. But think about how much we pass out guns, uh, guns to just regular ass. But a dang, 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 dang. Or, right. Or like that woman, hood, like that woman like who just, said, I'm so glad I got a gun now. Like, yeah, yeah scary just, motherfuckers just like untrained that. Untrained motherfuckers. And we pass out. Yeah. It's like you answer a few questions, you check a few boxes, and they hand you a weapon. And then you can just go buy bullets to project on their people, right? So, like, if you're not of the right mindset, like, do not get into this game. But with that in mind, I also last night, uh, thanks to one of our, our listeners here and viewers here, I did reach out and send an, e an official email, an inquiry email, as I uh, titled it, um, to, the to, NFA, the... to the NFAC, mm -hmm. the Not Fucking Around Coalition. Because I do believe that beyond any of us being armed, there should be a coalition and an organization much like the the original Black Panthers, you right, who were originally just about community protection and right. upliftment, right? Like food programs for kids uh, before school and after school, things like that. Um, uh, but I did reach out to that organization waiting to hear back. But the thing is, um, in addition to voting, in addition to be dil being diligent about your local elections and, and, and you know, right. who you're voting for in your city, in your uh, county, and in your state. Um, arm yourself personally and find a coalition of like-minded, positive individuals, right? Right. Who, and, and another thing we were talking about, Shang, earlier was uh, knowing some fellow comedians who have been through some struggles lately and who, who have for lack of a better word, folded under the pressure mentally, right? And either harm themselves or pose the threat to others potentially. And um, we have to understand that these are trying times. So right. before you get into any of that, make sure that you are mentally strong. Right, yeah, see, the thing is, I don't think it's about, I, I think I'm mentally strong to a point, but I also know that um, the way the police uh, react to us, the way... Uh, Caucasians feel like they have some license to just treat me like I'm, I'm a subhuman and do bad things to me just because they're having a bad day. I um, I don't think that I could, I don't know if I'm ready for that because I know I'll definitely ventilate a motherfuckers. I will definitely, yeah. I will definitely be in prison for the rest of my life because I, I, I don't know if I it, it would be like, well, you knew what the I, fuck you was doing. So I, I, now I got to get you. So I know I'm one of those motherfuckers. So I need to really make well, sure that I'm, I'm straight. I know the conversation, we, the conversation we had specifically with that was a, a, more around the protection of your, your sons, specifically. My sons, both, yeah. bo both of them, right? Which, which I totally understand. But I think that if you, if you actually delved into the ownership of a piece, it, it would change. Because I know you're to be an educated brother. You know what I'm saying? It would change your, thing, your, 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 your mentality and your, your energy around it. Because, like... I think once you realize that you pull it out, and this is why I'm not an open carry guy or even a concealed carry guy, because I, I feel like once you bring that that level that of energy, energy like, out, it, like, you might get that energy gonna be around me. It's always going to be like, it, yeah, it, you know, it could invite the same. Or it might make me want to get, if I want to get like the large fries instead of the regular fries, I might, you know, like, yeah. hey, you know, put, put more fries in the bag, motherfucker. You already know what it is. <laughs> I said, you see, I'm a big fat motherfucker. motherfucker. I need to, I need the fries. So, I mean, shit like that. I, I agree with you, but I think that, you know, the, after watching this debate, it made me want to go get one. I swear, because I, you know, the way he blew that dog whistle to his, you know, stand by, stand by. He, you know, what are you gonna do about racism, about Trump? I'm gonna make sure white people kill as many people as possible. That's all. He, he might as well just say that. So it does make me want to think, yeah, maybe I need a gun. But then I stand. know that isn't very good. Stand back and stand by. That was the Man. order. That was the order he gave. And they, and trust me, them boys here, them proud boys, they hear that. And they're like, he told <laughs> us to stand back and stand by. So we're waiting. 
And then he also said to send people to the polls to make sure there's nothing, you know, tricky going on, basically. And who are you to fucking tell the American public to police us? Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Oh, I wanted to just, I wanted to, ooh, I just wanted to put him in an orange juicer and take his orange ass, put him in a juicer and make him into an orange blend and then pour him down the throat of some of his GOP fucking people till they choked. It was just ridiculous shit. Yeah. So when you think about having a gun, that is part of it. When you have a gun and because of the situation is getting out of control. Wow. And you, you know what? I saw what y'all said, yeah. you know, about Pedro behind Pedro. There's not a, it's not a white person behind me. It, yes, Eve, it's a, it's a, it's a Mexican small person. Right. Yeah, she's my roommate. She's a person. She can hear me. She's right here now. All right. And she's, she's she a person. She's tough. Listen, you yeah. get a couple of glasses of Riesling in this woman and she will pull a knife on you so quick from out the dishwasher too. So like she will yeah. cut you quick. Trust me. Uh, and so, will inform you about wine more than you ever know. So if y'all think so, I know some shit I, no, about wine, I think I no, I was going to say I, I think the way I got a stabby sommelier in my house. So, so she she's the stabby sommelier with a, with a um, wine opener. She will open your ass up. But I, I just wanted to say, pertaining to the way Pedro went about it, he was he educated himself. He made sure he went to the range and uh, got better. And if I am going to do it, I have to follow his lead pertaining to that because my attitude was like, get the gun put it in the car, and shit pop off, then it goes down. <laughs> that was it. Like, boom, 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 like, boom. Oh, like, you think you like, can just treat me like, any old way? Literally, yeah. the, night, the night that the niggas slapped my back windows on my car and then skipped away, the night I got skipped on, when the motherfucker, like, violated my vehicle and then skipped away, like, yes. <laughs> I was like, if I had, I don't know. Like, I'm glad I, did. I had nothing. I'm glad I had nothing. Right, on me right. And, and I was I think so that, mad in that moment. I was like, you mother. Oh, no, you wanted to run him over with your car. You were, there yeah. was problems. You had I was going to turn my issues. car into a projectile weapon. He was just on yeah, the car. Yeah, you had a, yeah, you had a few issues, but I think I that... <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm sorry I, I keep do. circling back to this debate. <laughs> you stupid. I, I, I keep... I, um, <laughs> why is everybody agreeing with me? I know that. Eve always brings that shit up, too. Eve likes that shit. She's like, Pedro got skipped on. Like yeah, they like, like they like they punk. like fucking with you. And you say it like I'm a punk, even you know I ain't no fucking punk. All right, that nigga skip, he skip fast. I ain't never seen no nigga skip that fast. In my, I'm gonna be honest. If it was an Olympic event, he'd be the Usain Bolt. He'd be the skip champion. He'd have this a skip gold ring. Carl Lewis, '84, skipping his. He'd be Jesse Owens in Berlin skipping on these Nazis. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's, this nigga skipped so. I by the time I got around to the car, halfway down the block. Musical. This nigga was music. He was like la di da, I, like doing. Hand. I, was like, I'm, I don't even think that's the way your hands supposed to go when you skip. But he skipped so fast. I was like, God damn, fuck you. Where you going? That's why you don't look. You can't. There's a Negro behind you. He's talking. Yeah, no, that's that. This Negro is actually. Like, <laughs> Listen, wait. This I, is my I son. Not, I am not a part of the fuckery. All right, he's like, this is <laughs> yeah. their fuckery. Okay, hey, I'm an honest, hard-working man. I try to make it. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. First of all, you ain't honest. First of all, I know that. Yeah, but that I honest learned. shit. You need I, to get I that when you was on. a kid. I but knew I when am. he was a kid. But I am. When he was a kid. I know. That's my, yeah, that's all my, kids lie. That, so, uh, okay. Unfortunately, that's my son. <laughs> Cam Bam. Wait, that, wait a minute. Let me finish. Who I, I love dearly and and think he's going to be okay. Listen, um... Oh, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Come on, man. You know I love you, man. You know I love you, man. But watch it, man. I'm trying to talk on the motherfucker. Why don't you just uh, back up off me? Uh, somebody said, Shane, get a 50 cal. First of all, y'all need... <laughs> what you don't need is Shane on the roof of some building going... <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 let's start off slow. Uh, but that sounds, um, that sounds pretty cool, though. People are talking about Glocks are versatile. versatile. That, that is the thing with Glocks. Is that they, they, they're like... You can fire that shit underwater, in a fire, in a chimney. It don't matter. Uh, in a submarine, 3,000 leagues under the sea. It doesn't matter. Like, a Glock will fire. Um, right. Uh, the only problem is here, but you in Calif here in California, you can only get a Generation 3 Glock. Um, and I think they're on Gen 6 or Gen 7 now. And it's kind of a waste of money here in, in Cali at this point to get a to get a Glock. And plus they're like six months behind. So, uh, right. Big, because so many people want it. Mark said, I got two Glocks. So there you go. 
Make sure you know. Okay, how to but fire check this out. And right now, a lot of people are ordering guns, so they're backed up uh, a lot. So you got to think you're going to be getting a gun that's shipped from another city or another state because that's what's going on right now. Because a lot of people are having the same fear, especially with the racist fucking cunt president we got. What makes you think that black people don't need a gun right now? Look at how they are. They're acting towards us. Breonna Taylor. Ah, yeah, the cops. They they were justified. In fact, you know what? He's, you know, the, the cops, they don't get it. They don't need to go, you know, to jail for some dirty shit they did. And we obviously see his cover up. Hey, man, it's OK that the president actually says a flat out, not a dog whistle, a fucking bullhorn to racist people to stand by and stand by. So if you don't see that this is the time for the guns, then it's time because guess what? They're going to mow us down any way it goes. So, I mean, and they have proven it. The cops have so many KKK members and white supremacists that. The government was like, hey, we need to watch these motherfuckers, too. This is this is the head of the FBI said the, the number one fucking threat to America is white supremacists. Bro, it, didn't say, it didn't say it was black people. It didn't say it was Asian people or people from other countries and immigrants. It said it was white fucking supremacists. And this what is, the fuck this don't is, you see? This is the thing, man, um, <clears throat> is that in in 2013, and I've said this a million times on the show, but uh, I will keep repeating it because we're hearing it again right now from the FBI. But in 2013, they released a they released the results of a two year study. So obviously this started in 2011 uh, when they started investigating and found that most urban police forces in America are rampant with KKK white supremacist Nazis. Right, like not even neo Nazis, just Nazi. Like I don't, I don't call them neo. It ain't nothing neo about the shit. It's the same old shit, just neo ways of doing it. You <laughs> know, but right, they, they, they are just white supremacists in ur most urban American uh, police forces. And I'm not saying they're the majority. The 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 study didn't say they they were in the majority, but there are enough, right? One bad apple can ruin the bunch. Literally at work the other day, there was this basket of, of oranges behind the bar. And I, I like I saw one that was moldy. And I so I plucked it and went to throw it in the garbage can. And then underneath it was like four other moldy oranges. Right? And no we lie. can't afford it. Yeah, but oranges but we can't but afford it, it oranges that shoot at you. It started with one, right? Like I like but as they touch, as they interact, they all become the same. So, that being said, don't order orange juice at my restaurant. And then, <laughs> and then I'm not doing know, anything to the dog. Uh, Cameron, come get this dog, please. <laughs> you know what I do? When you're not home, I kick the dog, and then I get my motherfucking ass. Come get this dog, man. <laughs> when you're home, when I kick him. I kick him. I kick. You know what I do, Eddie? I kick the dog, and then I get my motherfucking ass off. Um. <laughs> I'm not doing nothing to the dog, y'all. Ever since the dog story, I've been getting the heat about. Yeah, but we know what you do with dogs. You, did, you kill them. You him. did live. You said that you you killed a dog once. So I did. Go. Well, I did. I did. But that was I was young, <laughs> and I was young. I was young. I I'm not laughing for the dog. I'm laughing at your career. <laughs> <laughs> Like Peter's gonna get your ass. <laughs> <laughs> what if Peter jumped in? We heard what you just said, motherfucker. And then, we heard that. Then the shit go black, and then you see it come back up. And oh, 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 oh. yeah, I'm look, look. I'm get that damn dog. No, the dog is wants to do something, piss, shit, or whatever. Take the dog the fuck out. Get it, get out my face. Um, no, I I wanted to see because they are fact checking the president right now. Actually, on CNN and MSNBC and all over the world, they are fact checking the president for his lies. They said they call him sleep. They say Sleepy Joe Trump, and they saying that you know Biden is Sleepy <laughs> Joe. But that that backfired because Biden. They said they're saying that Biden did show uh, um, energy and show it during the debate. He he. I thought he I thought he, he was festive. <laughs> the yeah, he garbled a few words because he does have a stutter, but he did call him a clown. And but then he did he did apologize. He apologized like, "Hey, I'm sorry, I'm getting like acting like that." And Peter ain't gonna get me. Fuck that, y'all shut up. Peter ain't hey, get but me. They, that was Miss Miss Adverb said Betty White and Sarah McLaughlin are coming for your ass though. 
So well, damn. Better watch In that. the what eyes you, of what an you angel. Don't want, what you don't want what? is Betty White. Right now, you don't want Betty White on your ass, dog. What? That's what you don't want. Shut up, dog. What? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, you keep hey. making noise, dog. What? All right. So it was only one. It was only one whack. It wasn't a lot of whack. It wasn't like I beat the dog to death. <laughs> Start laughing. That, that it, was, it was. It was. It was. It was a hit and a hit, and that was it. But yeah. he was a big German Shepherd, and he could have tore my phone out if if I would have thrown out and ran off with my asshole. So I <laughs> I think that I was justified in the murder of that particular dog. So don't give me no shit. And plus, they murder dogs, thousands of dogs every day at the pound. I just took one out. So shut the fuck up. Y'all can't judge me on that. Secondly, I'm going back what I was saying. Um, but the other thing that they're trying to say that Trump was testy the whole time. He did interrupt all the time. And he also got in fights with Chris Wallace. But guess what? They're saying that wasn't cool. This is a right wing Republican. I'm looking. Even the right wing is like, oh, I was so embarrassed. So no, it was terrible. Um, no, he it was he, terrible. He literally, literally Chris Wallace had to be like, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President. Like it was like trying to, it was like trying to tame a that that kindergartner that has ADHD on the spectrum, still wears diapers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like not advanced at all. C spot run and he runs spot C. You know, it's like he doesn't it, like it was just a bit challenged today in terms of a formal debate. But I think all of that served ultimately to to help Biden out. Um, I, I do I do want to stick with with the gun ownership for a minute in terms of our black audience and, and all those out there. Is that like um, what and I see a lot of comments about the, the things we have and what we possess. Just make sure you are uh, training yourself and being responsible about it. All right. Make sure that the first time you use your gun or you need it, I should say, to protect yourself, isn't the first time you use it. Um, and I, I honestly think it's, it's, a, it's that time to get with coalition, right? So that you're well, not no, just... Well, uh, no, I think what you if, did even by if reaching out. Block, even if it's your block, right? Like, yeah. connect with people on your block and be like, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is what, like, I think I'm about to connect with my neighbors. Like, hey, this is what I see. And then when I say my neighbors, I mean, like, I live in a four unit building. So I want to talk to them like, hey, um, there's certain ways we do this thing in this building and I'm going to react in other ways, right? Like we leave our front door open. So I'm like, okay, if y'all want to do that, just understand that I'm going to be here with these things that are definitely here to protect me, but to protect right, us all. But, but, Pedro, but Pedro, with the gun ownership for black people, the reason I'm saying it is not just because I love like there's some people like just love guns. They rub guns on their dick, and there's some women that rub guns up their asshole. Um, not in the be, asshole, yeah, but just in yeah, the crease. Just, you know, the, in the, the crease because they just love shot. guns. It's called a rim right. Shot. It's a rim job with a gun. <laughs> rim shot. It's a rim shot. I'll oh, see. I, there you go. But yeah. I, 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 it's not. I'm not a gun lover. It's just I feel like you know the way I see that these proud boys and a lot of these people are rocking. They rocking with guns. They're out there teaching their kids how to train with guns in the woods. And um. So we have to have we have to have that mentality because we are being victimized by those type of people. Yeah. So that's the only right. reason I think we need to have guns. I think we have to have a organization yeah. that is trained like the No Fucking Around Coalition, because all of them so far, not the extended ones they're trying to get, but the 1500 core brothers, all military, all trained, yeah. some of them snipers, some of them high level gunsmiths, guns, yeah, yeah, gunsmiths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, so we're they're not that. just, I got a gun. What you going to do, motherfucker? It's I got no, a gun. No, no. I know how to hold it responsibly. I know that I know when to pop off, not just to pop off for no reason, because they did peacefully march to the yeah. head of the Klan's um, in, um, organization in, in Georgia. Stone Mountain, Georgia. Not one Stone bullet flied. Not, yeah, not yeah. one bullet shot. So you got to have that responsibility. Now, if I was the Stone. one with them, I probably would have sparked the war because I would have started just shooting into the windows. God damn like, it, Shane. Yeah, die, clan, mo clan, motherfuckers, die. <laughs> and I would have been me. Die, motherfuckers, die. Kane Garlene said uh, Breonna Taylor's boyfriend tried to do the right thing. You know what? He didn't try to do the right thing. He did the right thing. As far as, far as we know, because here's, 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 here's my logic on it. If the state, if Daniel Kuhn Cameron is telling us that 
the police announced themselves as they came through the door, that means that Kenneth Walker heard them say, police, police. According to his report, they heard banging on the door and said, who is it? So what the state of Kentucky is saying is that we heard that response and said, police, police. Broke down the door. The door's off the hinges. That, that's for fact. So they broke down the door, right? So there was an obvious, obvious failure of communication, right? Right. Like, if a motherfucker's like, who is it? If there's knocking and somebody says, who is it? And then the door just burst open, you failed to communicate, right? You knock, knock, and I say, who is it? And you don't say police. You haven't announced yourself. Right. So you could be so anybody. When the, when, the, when the door breaks down, and you shoot one shot low, and according to their reports, that, that shot hit an officer in the leg, a low point, non-fatal. He's still alive here today. Mattingly is his name. Uh, how could you ever say that he didn't do the right thing, you know? And I oh, he absolutely did. Because they arrested him. Tried. They ar I'm, I'm just going to emphasize, it's not that he tried to do the right thing. He did he, everything right. It right. just worked out wrong. But I think we should always stand our ground like that. Because... It, oh, absolutely. If somebody breaks into Pedro's door. house, if somebody right. breaks into Pedro's house, Pedro like, has the full door, right. Kicking my door. Right. But see, Please. the bottom line is, after that, there were so many things that were, you know... There was so much miscommunication with the way they gave their story. It was bullshit. It was total bullshit the way they did it. There was a lot of cover-ups. And also, they arrested him, but then they had to let him go. His lawyer is definitely on point right now going after him. I think that the lawyers need to not give up on Breonna Taylor and make sure that once the information is delivered, that they go through it with a fine-tooth cone and make sure that, that yo, we need to do something about this shit. Because the bottom line is these motherfuckers are doing some, sh some shady shit. And then after that, um, make sure that law is absolutely changed completely. That no knock fucking warrant bullshit um, is changed because obviously that's going to happen again. Somebody is going to shoot a cop. Somebody is going to, because you, you don't break in my house and just say, you know, like without saying police or anything like that, you might get ventilated. Sorry. It's, it's you know, aftermarket holes must be put in your head. That's it. Um, that's, I don't see it no other way. And if Somebody broke into Pedro's house, and I heard Pedro, uh, it was a cop broken, and Pedro shot him. And, and Gertrude, because Pedro's lethal, six feet, seven feet, it's a wrap. Um, um, cause I saw his, I saw the fucking thing. He was dead center in a lot of that shit. And so I would not, I'd be like, yeah, Pedro had the right to do that. But for some reason, when you're black and you do it, it's wrong. But if somebody white is at a fucking, at, at a gas station, and the black kids are playing their music too loud, and they get in an argument. You're allowed to shoot them dead. Right. You could you could stand, you stand on your, on your porch, ground. You could stand on your porch with your finger on the trigger towards uh, black protesters, and no problem. And you'll get invited to the RNC to speak. Yes. Why don't you come speak for the uh, Republicans? Yeah, we need to. Hear but no, your um, voice. I want to make sure y'all do me a favor. We we've been on for a while, but I want to make sure y'all do me a favor. I know I we we've been talking about this, and definitely listen to Pedro pertaining to guns because he's doing it the right way. I, on the other hand, need to listen to him, which I am doing. Um, Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go to Savage AF Podcast. I'm on the thing here right now. I want to see about five more people right now subscribing to the channel it's free so don't give me that shit um subscribe to the channel right now subscribe to our youtube channel savage af okay subscribe to that also pedro's gonna let you know where you can check us out on the podcast version of the show wow. for podcasts there's a whole bunch That's of it. different platforms we're on right now let them yeah know. so it and the reality is where can you not follow us right and that's nowhere right. dog we're everywhere homie uh, wherever you get your podcasts, iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, uh, SoundCloud, and Spotify, as well as... <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why do you always say it that way? Spotify. Spotify. You sound like a villain. 
in a, like one of those movies and Spotify. You know, because that's the one that you got to look out for. So whoever no, that okay, yeah, you got to watch it. Like you got to watch it. Or whatever, yeah, it's like so, so I need some of you guys know. to subscribe. I'm looking on here right now. We've had a few people jump on and subscribe on YouTube. Thank you so much right now uh, for doing that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, I'm looking at the people. I'm looking at, if you see me looking on, on my computer, yeah, we had some more people subscribe. Thank you so much for awesome. subscribing to the Savage Ave uh, on YouTube. Um, we had a, a few people jump on. Thank you so, so much. Um, so I was going to so add something else. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, well, just looking at the comments here, uh, you know, I'm I'm hearing like, uh, you know, people talk about <laughs> Kenneth Walker and and his his you know stance in that right, like the the the, the stance of defending your own home, um, and you know, this is why I think coalitions are so important, right? Is that this was a lone black man trying to defend him, his home against what he thought was honestly potentially another black man, right? Like Brianna's ex-boyfriend, drug dealer, trying to fuck shit up, right? Um, but the reality is one shot or not, you're not, you're not going to be able to stand against the state alone. So this is why I do encourage people to find a coalition that suits you that is about um the protection of your space and your family whether it starts yeah, right it, it has to start in your house but um whether it's just a local thing on your block because i know you know i've seen i used to watch I, like i love that prepper show right like doomsday preppers and uh right. you know these the, you know in these little suburban cul-de-sacs they'll they'll form these like militias right where they go through these, the circle of defense, right? They go from verbal warning to knife to machete to handgun to shotgun. Wow. To that's some creepy shit. Assault rifle to long range, right? And that's, that's called the circle of defense, right? So uh, there, there, there are these communities that are doing that. I just want to make sure that we are a part of that. So within our own communities, black, brown, uh, and, and, and like-minded people, I just want to make sure that we're connecting on that level, both in, in training, uh, organization, and cooperation, right? Like, and also being able to shoot the fucking gun. All that sideways shooting that you see in these fucking gangsters movies is not an accurate way to shoot. It's just not. It's just not. So make sure you're trained and don't fuck around and think you can do it like I was going to do it. Like, yeah, 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 pat, 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 and try to do actually, a gun actually, food. Actually, there's, there's a level of training that will lead you to that. But that ain't where you start. You don't start you with ain't, You don't start that like, way. But a lot of people start I've, that I've way. Seen, I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen a dude stand on one leg uh, holding a gun upside down and firing with his pinky, right? Like, literally, the barrel is here. Like, the gun is, is on the... Like, he's holding it literally upside down. Boom. Dead center on target. Once you get to your place, you can shoot it however. Oh, right? yeah, like you, you get can, good. Once you get good. Nigga, yeah, nigga, once you get I've, good. Seen, I've seen videos of Keanu Reeves on a gun range with oh, an AR. Oh, you saw that video? Yo, we talked about was that, that really about him? That, like that John Wick, that John Wick shit. Like this nigga in real life though, with Halle Berry watching on the side, was like ting 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 ting, like moving through this shit like a fucking warrior. And I'm like, okay. What well, I mean? Obviously, okay, you, was obviously that between real? The between, but listen, between the Matrix, you know how Shane, you know what these Hollywood studios do. They don't. They don't just make you act right. Like they will military militarily train your ass, right? Like they will send you to a boot camp. They will send you to a gun range to become a fucking shooter, right? <laughs> in real life, so that in the movie it doesn't look fake. It looks real. So Wait, like, okay. So you the saw that on YouTube between the Matrix, between John Wick. Yes, on YouTube I've seen Halle Berry on the sideline. Being like three, two, one, go, and this motherfucker runs through this range like moving, 
hitting targets while he's like dipping through this like ting 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 ting. Oh man, like, I saw I saw something on where they showed the, the making of John Wick, but I, people by the but way. I didn't see that. I saw the one on John where the, the making of John Wick, and they showed him training, <laughs> but they didn't. Sh so this was like really him out. They're out at a range. It's him and three women. One of those women is Halle Berry. So I assume it was Fred. Okay, Bush I got to check that one. I didn't see that one. I didn't see. I got to see that. It, uh, bro. So he really but is that good? He's really like, is he? Because he looks thorough brother, in the movie. Brother, 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 brother. When the shit goes down, I'm getting Wesley Snipes and Keanu Reeves. <laughs> and the two motherfuckers I'm hitting up. I don't know what's real, but I know Keanu is motherfucking real, and I know that Wesley knows some. Some blade shit. Like that, that would, that would, <laughs> Did you say blade <laughs> shit? Yeah, nigga. Like no, no. Wesley, I've seen, I've seen footage of Wesley. Yeah, West, Wesley, Wesley's head. hands is still fast. He's an older man, and still he can fuck you up. The Keanu, Keanu, the the thing I saw was part of the movie, like, and he, it, but it wasn't like Halle Berry wasn't there. It was the making of John Wick. But Listen. I got to see that one because I did watch the one with Halle Berry and I forget it, John Wick three. And I yeah, thought that's them. They were that's, oh, that's the same one. I did, yeah, I didn't see that one. So Denzel, Denzel got skills too. But we're talking about y'all getting skills, um, so you don't do crazy shit and end up shooting up everybody in the neighborhood. Yeah, because that shit happens. But <laughs> now that now, like literally, now that I have uh, an AR on the way, which stands for assault rifle. AR-15, and in California, you can't get a uh, fully automatic one, um, but, you know, you get a single action, you know, bam, 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 but it's high-powered, you know, from a distance pull, you know, 100, 200, 300 yards. Um, after that, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to get a bolt-action, long-range rifle, you know what I mean, like, Thousand yards, dog. Like, <laughs> well, right now, like, I, I agree now. with you. By the way, but, um, just but you got to build. You got to build up. You got to build up. So you got it. You got to build up. I, and like now that I got the AR coming, I don't have it yet. But now that it's on the way, I need to sign up for the classes, like the ting ting ting. I want to be. I want to be Keanu with my ting ting ting. Like that. 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 You be thorough. So, I gotta watch that. Now you make me want to watch that. I gotta watch that video. Bro, I, was, I, gotta, I, was, I was like, I, I literally at the end of it, I was like, would never, ever talk shit to Keanu Reeves. No matter how peaceful this motherfucker seems, I would never, ever in my Esau life. Esau just called me. Hold, hold, it, it dropped out. Shit. Can y'all hear me? If you can hear me, Savage AF brought to you by the World Famous Laugh Factory. Pedro's going to jump back on it, then we'll close it out. Thank you guys for supporting us. Um, Tehran said 20. Uh, Tehran, by the way, t Trump is the best. P.S. I'm white now. Please don't speak to me. Uh, Tehran is, uh, by the way, Tehran is a comedian. He's being a joking. Please, Savage AF listeners, do not attack. Do, do not attack him. Please do not attack him. Hey, Ron, he is a good person, and uh, I just want you to know that. Savage AF, uh, uh, Pedro is going to jump back on, then we're going to wrap it up. Um, thank you, guys. Pedro, no. sorry about that. Yeah, no, no, we all good. It, it, it's still low. Happen. It's fucked up, man, because Esau just called me. I don't know, and it's, I, I will make sure that I figure this out because I can't hear you. And it, it's then we can't start all over again because I'm not losing another one. Um, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's but, close this one. Close it. And we're going to we'll close this deeper. one. You guys, um, tomorrow, what time will we be tomorrow? Six. Uh, we're at six, 6 p.m. tomorrow. I can hear you're really low. Six. I got you. 6 p.m. I got you. 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow night. Savage AF. We're going to talk to There's some stuff. We're going to do some research because people talk about. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Thank you guys for supporting us. Thank you for subscribing. We went up 11 subscribers. Make sure you subscribe some more on our YouTube channel, Savage AF Podcast. Make sure you follow at Black Pedro. Make sure you follow <laughs> at Black Pedro. All right? <laughs> we will see and, you tomorrow. At Comedian Shane. Y'all know what Make sure, is. yeah, follow me too. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you guys so much.